welcome everybody. Welcome to the Family Crime Combat Veteran Television. If you guys are new to the channel, um, we are doing this in the video format, so we'll put the title in this video. We'll start doing it like that. But uh, welcome to the channel, guys. If you guys are new, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I am my only sponsor, so I like to sponsor myself. If you guys are new to the channel, you like true crime stories. Uh, we haven't really been doing any uh, videos like particular individuals. So we've been just covering cases. So um, we, will, we will get back to that type of format where I'm in front of a camera and I'm sitting there and I'm going over a case. So we might just do a, do a voiceover. So Again, guys, I appreciate you guys' uh, support. So today, obviously, I read about the title. We are going to do an update on the Delphi murder case. So you guys know that I have probably been covering this case since the last year and a half, possibly. So I actually went to Delphi, Indiana. Um, check that video out. If you haven't seen it, I walked the bridge. Uh, I don't think I deleted that video. But uh, we're just gonna do an update on the case, guys. So the head of a uh, head of an upcoming bill here in Carroll County prosecutors doubled down on their request for Delphi murder suspect Richard Allen to remain in custody without bond. This is uh, January 31st. Carroll County's lead prosecutor Nicholas McLean filed the state's uh, response to Allen's petition for bail on January 31st. The state said its evidence adds up to a strong and evident proof of guilt that Allen murdered Libby German and Abby Williams in February of 2017, arguing the crime of murder is not available if the state provides enough evidence to uh, prove a defendant is guilty. So obviously that evidence is the um, is the um, what is that? The round that was left there that came from Richard Allen's gun. Um, I, I'm surprised they don't have any DNA. I'm thinking they have DNA if they're going this strong. But also, for updated news, like we said before, and like I said, I, there's possibly more subjects, more uh, suspects in this case. And I think they're trying to hold, the prosecution is trying to hold until they can get further evidence because I think Keegan Klein is speaking. I think they're gonna charge Keegan Klein, his father, and a couple other people in this case. And one passed away. I believe he was involved in some way. I mean, there's a lot going on in Delphi. There's a lot going on in Indiana. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a sex child reign going on. They just did a bus probably a year and a half ago. I did a video on that. And so, yeah. Um, back in November of 2022, the court on Silder redacted probable cause affidavit, affidavit breaking down some of the state's key evidence in the case, including lab analysts that found an unspent bullet discovered near the bodies of German and Williams had cycled through a 40 caliber found at Allen's home. Allen's team originally filed the uh, bail hearing request on November 21st, 2022, arguing there was a lack of strong evidence to keep Allen behind bars before the trial. Judge Fran Gill were her arguments from both the defense and the state during a bail hearing on February 17th. Allen's trial has been scheduled for late March, although, although it has been widely said that it's highly unlikely it will start on time. As the Fox 59 revealed last month, jurors will be selected from Allen County after Judge Gold ruled. It would be difficult, if not impossible, to find jurors from Car Carroll County that were not tied to the case. Allen are the victims in any way. Okay. So, case should be going on. Uh, hopefully in march but again guys they're saying that it's it's possibly not likely i mean i'm pretty sure the defense team is trying to push for it they're trying to hurry up and rush this through the court system because they're trying to have the prosecution present whatever evidence they have now which the defense thinks that is not even enough evidence that shows their client did it but the state is trying to hold off because they're trying to go after other individuals they don't think Richard Allen did it by himself, and I don't think he he would act it alone. Honestly, to tell you the truth, guys, I really think that looks like Keegan Klein walking that bridge. You know, 
if you actually look at that photo, that looks like Keegan Klein, but it could be Richard Allen. I don't know. It could be. But I think Keegan Klein's father was involved in it. Um, I think they had like a pre-meeting place where they, you know, he had you had to know the area and where he walked those girls and guys. I've, I've, I've spoken this before. I did a video, you know, not too long ago, a month ago, that you had to know that area to walk those girls. I mean, down in that woody area uh, over a river into what's his name's uh, property. So there's no way that the uh, older man that passed away, and I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna say his name, but I believe he knew what was going on. They were supposed to take those girls to a shed. I don't, I don't know if it was probably kidnapping or they were gonna be sold into sex trafficking, tra uh, something like that. But um, you know, they're not giving a, a, giving us a lot of information as far as. You know, where the girls essay, you guys can take what you guys mean for that. Essay means, um, you know, what possibly happened. You know that a knife was used and was a gun used. So were they shot? Were they stabbed? I mean, you know, they're not giving us any, any, anything to go off on. In this case, is a national case. I mean, we're all waiting. It's sad that some of these other cases are harried up and rushed through the court system. But, you know, we want to know if this is the guy. Should people be worried in Delphi, Carroll County, uh, up in that area, if there are possibly other people involved? And should they be fearful that, you know, this can happen again? And I would, too. I mean, I would protest in Carroll County. I would. I would ask to see what other probable cause they have on this individual um i would want to know but this is for the community of carroll county and in delphi indiana that you know it's a tragedy again this case is a tragedy because two young young girls lost their lives to these sick pathetic pedophiles that run around here that hide in these little black op groups and stuff like that and they're, you know, they're setting these girls up with fake profiles. And this is why I always got to say, monitor, monitor your children's uh, Internet usage to see where they're going, who they're talking to. I mean, I'm not saying this was, you know, everything is preventable, you know. But when you mess with teenagers, you know, teenagers lie. They're good at hiding stuff. And if, you know, you don't have the evidence right in front of them to show that they actually did something, they will lie to you. And, you know, so, you know, we're not going to say the family, you know, should have been looking closely. I'm pretty sure they did, you know, what they could do. You know, it's hard to watch somebody 24-7, especially a teenager. And so the update is that they, the prosecution is actually holding so they can try to find out more more uh suspects in this case more individuals that are involved in this case and that's what i think they're doing but that's this is what the defense team is trying to hear from rush because they defense team was caught off guard when the prosecution said well we're, we're still investigating the case because there's possibly more people involved and the defense team was like okay then why are you holding our client then why is he well because he committed a heinous act there's enough evidence to put you there it's not saying you committed the crime, but there's enough evidence to put you at the crime scene. And that's enough for me. That's enough. Why are you there? To walk through that forest, that, that little area, to get over, over a river. People just don't do that. You were there for a reason. So, yeah, keep his ass in jail. Um, but we'll be doing some updates, guys. I know I took a little break from the channel on family crime and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll get back into it, guys. I uh, love everybody. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And um, we'll see you guys in the next another video, guys. Love you guys all. Thank you.